Hey, what's going on YouTube? Another video for you guys as usual, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about a certain topic that it's on my mind, and what's been, <coughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm still sick. Um, What's been on my mind really is buying something through a vendor, and I see a lot of people do this, but you gotta realize you can't get a refund at all. Like, for example, I was at the mall and back then in like my sophomore year or junior in high school I saw this really really dope like Superman hoodie uh, pullover hoodie so I asked how much it was it was $35 I gave him $35 he made it like it's those screen print ones where you can actually just like it does like that and then like it actually makes it which is pretty cool it sounds pretty cool but I knew I couldn't get a refund so if I didn't and I didn't like it actually um that's what sucks about buying something from a vendor once you buy it you can't return it and the thing is he wouldn't even let me try it on to like try it out just a hoodie like before he even printed it though because I wanted a superman hoodie the logo I, got, I still have it but I don't wear it it's a it's really small now on me it's like an extra small um, it fits horribly and when I got it I asked for a medium it was a size medium I used to be a medium by the way um, well I used to be a medium I was actually sm size small but it, it depends on the brand obviously like how it fits and all but overall it was really a bad purchase I wasted $35 for a hoodie when I could have got a nice one from H&M for like 20 or 15 <laughs> It's pretty stupid like if you guys think about it I don't recommend anyone buying something from a vendor if you at least know like where the area is from sorry if I'm gonna be picking my nose and shit I'm just sick right now and my nose is stuffy and runny but and my throat hurts oh, I talk so much making YouTube videos ah fuck my leg anyway um, on to the topic about vendors. I really don't recommend anybody buying ven buying something from a vendor Like unless it's worth it and what I mean by that is usually let's just say I buy snapbacks from vendors like this This originally costed me $20. Uh, it was at a retail store uh, against the lodge here in um, Jersey, I don't know if you guys have that there um, There's no web if if you guys are trying to ask me about the website you can't buy anything from the website <laughs> but anyway um, on to the topic with the vendors uh, if you're gonna buy something from a vendor I really just don't recommend buying anything in general you might as well go to a, a real retail store or retail shop to buy something than a vendor and this is my thing about the cons about the vendors one they give you attitude and they try to sell you something Without a, you, with, like you just look at something and then they actually just want you to buy it. Like I'm not gonna buy it if you're gonna pressure me to buying it. I don't care. If I like it, I'll buy it. That's my motto. But sorry about that. It's really sick. Um, I really think though that you really should take into account that you can't get a like a you can't get discounts. You could probably negotiate, but I mean it might not work because. Sorry, um, people, they just, they're stingy as fuck, so there's no point in buying something if it's like a vendor, you're like, really, there's no point at all, but when I bought my hoodie, my Superman hoodie for like $35, it wasn't worth it, the fitting was so off, like, the the top part was okay, but then the bottom part, they're like, it's, it's, uh, not loose, but it's like a little bit more up, so, the feel of it was weird. The hood from the back of it was so small. Um, it's a size medium hoodie, by the way. It was a size medium. So I would expect expect that the clothing would be at least decent, but it's not. So that sucked fucking balls. Uh, overall, don't buy anything. if you Unless you have the cash flow, then go ahead. I'm not going to give a shit. But if you're on, like, on a budget, I recommend not buying anything from a vendor. Like right now, I have money to 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 use for like if I want to buy something I like, but I'll never 
buy anything from a vendor and I recommend you guys don't do not do it too but I mean it's your choice it's just preference in my view but I recommend not buying anything from a vendor when it comes to clothing because you don't know how, how it, well it fits or it's just off or the brand uh, company or something it's like you don't know it very well so it could be like a cheap quality t-shirt or like a cheap quality hoodie or something like that I want to know but in my mall that I go to they they rip you off and they pretty much just take all your money that doesn't really, it, it that's what their goal is just to get every single penny from you and overall it's just a bad purchase like I really just recommend going to like a retail shop like H&M or Forever 21 or something like that but I'd like to know your guys opinions on buying something from a vendor leave it in the comment section below damn it I'd like to hear your guys opinions and thoughts I'm really sorry that I'm picking my nose and shit it's just that I'm sick and I still want to make this video for you guys as usual so leave it in the comment section below I like to read your thoughts about buying like clothes clothes or like brands uh, through a, from a vendor at your mall and it's like that kiosk shit in the middle of the mall that you don't even never see a lot so I like to know you guys thoughts leave it in the comment section below uh, comment subscribe favorite favorite if you like to I can't speak right hope I really want my braces to get off now uh, comment subscribe favorite if you like to share with your friends if you like the video when I give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon so peace